Welcome to the Money GPS eCourse. This is the introduction where I will briefly break down exactly what's happening in the economy and where it's headed. The stock boom in the 1990s was fueled by low interest rates and that produced a massive bubble in stocks. Once inflation picks up, they begin to raise the interest rates in order to cool it down. Once the rates get to a respectable level, however, the economy begins to slip into a recession. This is an easy pattern to recognize. You look at the federal funds rate, which I'll show you in a bit, and that will determine exactly where stocks are going. You can see in this chart here that the 30-year mortgage rates have been declining for decades. It's at historic lows right now. This is a desperate attempt by the governments to keep people buying homes. Interest rates are at 0%. This keeps people borrowing more and more money because the money is essentially free. This reduces the incentive for people to save because they're not going to get any return on their money. Now the stock market reacts accordingly to this. The governments are printing money at record levels. This is a desperate attempt to keep the economy afloat. Bailouts of banks and other institutions are taking place and this is adding to the national deficit. With all of this government intervention, you would think that the economy would be booming, but that's not the case. In fact, the stock market has been at the same level for going on 12 years now. Individual stocks may be rising, but the actual overall stock market has been at the same level. Without a doubt, food prices are the best indicator of inflation. And right now, the United Nations has declared that food prices are at an all-time high. This is despite what the governments tell you, that inflation isn't very high at all. Inflation is going to get much worse. They've already lowered interest rates down to 0%, and they've been printing money like crazy, but that is their only solution left. If they want to increase rates, they're going to have to do so dramatically. That is going to cause a complete collapse of the economic system.